Anyway. Cheers, my man. Do you want me to open it for you? Eh? Guess you haven't stopped shaking since you got on. Yeah, well, uh, every night, you know, overslept, ran for the train. End story. Oh, look. What? A flying pig. I got back to the office after lunch yesterday. Apparently, two guys have been giving Marlene in personnel a hard time. Really? Yeah, really. Who were they, Eddie? How should I know? Have you been at it again? Dave, what's happening? Look, never mind having a pop at me. Why don't you get first class, eh? I do about three hours of Coronation Street. Is there anything I should know? Northerners, balm cakes, coal in their barbs and ferrets down their trousers. Never go your razor. At least they're wearing trousers. Give it a rest, will you? I know Blackpool's a seaside, but considering why we're going, don't you think dressing as Coco the Clown's coming it a bit strong? Oh, 
one now. She's well fitting, she ain't. What are those black stockings or tights she's wearing? Excuse me, cousin Tracer, are they stockings or tights? And by the way, what colour knickers are you wearing? Is that a Tracer? She's come on a bit, ain't she, eh? Inside and get them on sharpish. That's all right, Danny, old man. I'll stick them on here. Right, ma'am. I was amazed you bothered the show at all. We might at least have put some decent clothes on. Just leave it out, will you? We're here now. Eddie, what happened this morning? Right, everybody, can we go in the cars, please? We're late enough as it is. Um, which one are we in, Danny? I've told you, car two without Teresa. It's a jar of Uncle Kieran. All right. All right. I can't believe this place. We're digging the channel tunnel. They've still got trams up here. Where are we going? You're having me on, aren't you? No, straight up. He specified it in his will. Well, it's completely bonky and ridiculous. Still good on him, eh? What'd you say, father? Oh, your Uncle Kieran was some character, all right. So I'd forgotten how big this place was. Did your dad own it all? Don't be daft. We'd be worth a bloody fortune if he had. We've just got leases on a few stalls and a few other interests in the town. I remember when he took me on the Big Dipper when I was a little kid. I threw up for a week. He's left you two something in the will, I gather. You're joking. We haven't seen him for years. It's very nice of him. Don't get carried away. In fact, it's not really cash, it's some sort of share in the business. Honestly. 
What? You mean we've inherited a piece of something like that? Daft, really. I reckon the best thing is to get the solicitor to work out some sort of cash deal for you. It's funny seeing you have a kid here, right? How long have you been married, then? I'm not. You should be such a skinny little thing. You've grown up so you. You should try it yourself sometime. Will you check it out? Yeah, on the number I'll just give you. All right, cheers. Fancy a quick nibble? No, thanks. Cheer up. I thought you looked very nice in those shorts. Yeah? Yeah, well, when you've got really tasty legs, it's a shame to cover them up, isn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they tell me you are doing very well. Some uh, big shot in the city, eh? Hardly. I've just started out in investments. It's a smallish bank and well, geographically it's not even in the city. Oh, it's not true. I think you are a yappy. <laughs> <laughs> your own car, your own home. Your mama and papa would have been very proud. Yeah, I suppose so. They worked hard all their lives. Didn't have much to show for it in the end, mind. My Kieran always had a soft spot for your mother and Molly. They were so close, like... Brother and sister? <laughs> yeah, 1992's the name of the game now. You seem a bit young to be a managing director. Don't you be deceived, my dear. This boy's been around. Now, like I say, common market's where it's at now. That's why I've just opened new offices in Zurich. Switzerland isn't in the economic community, you cotton pillock. You want it on the first... All my life. All my life. As long as I can remember, I've had to pick up the tab for you. Good old reliable Mike. Lend us a monkey, Mike, my man. Sort this out, sort that out. No more, Eddie. No more. Your credit's exhausted with me. Where are you going? Out. I'm having the accountants go right through the company. I'd like to move things up market a bit. Rolls-Royce Dodgem cars, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Anyway, what have you found out for me? Well, I ran a discreet check off the record. Now, Eddie Baker, he's a whole string of minor misdemeanors, but no real form. Just one six-month stretch for receiving. Michael Baker, the younger one, seems clean as a whistle. Nothing known at all. Thanks, Brian. It's just, if they are coming into the business, well, you know what I mean. Sure. Anyway, that's the SP. Thanks for the drink.
you charge to take me to Blades Nightclub, mate? Be about uh, two pound fifty from here. Been busy? No, pretty quiet. That case two quid. Take it or leave it. Get it. Thank you, Squire. Plenty of crumpet down his blades, I understand. Aye. And they all love a big spender. Gemini with Scorpio rising. Sorry? Well, am I right? Uh, no. No, I'm Bulls Pond Road with Prospect Sinking. Which was, of course, my second guess. I've been watching you. Oh, yeah? And I've come to the conclusion that you've got problems. Really? Yes. For a start, you've got a wet bum, dear. What did you say you were doing up north? Uh, well, uh, I've just acquired an interest in the local leisure industry, actually. The way you took your money about, you think you bought the bloody tower? Shh, it's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> yes, here we go. Guys, come on, ship it in. This is my I want to be alone beach. I do not expect it to be cluttered up with riffraff from the Bull's Pond Road. Explain yourself. I told you. I'm in exile. A refugee. Hmm. This young man has clear, steady eyes. A strong, simple stride. He does not look shifty or bite his nails. What is he running from? Answers on a postcard, please. Anyway, tell me about you. See those lights? Yeah. At first I thought they were fishing boats at anchor. I had visions of decks full of old salts mending nets and telling yarns by the light of the old silvery what's it. It's a bit fanciful. Exactly. I found out they're not even boats. 
their gas rigs in Morecambe Bay. <laughs> Sometimes it's better not to know. I've never been gambling before. Oh, well, it's the first time for everything, isn't it, right? Cold sea of boys and girls. Gentlemen. Ladies. What? It's cool, mate. They're all with me. Yeah, strictly speaking, sir, you're not allowed this number of guests. Yeah, oh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, strictly speaking, um, here's 20 notes. So we're not allowed to take money on the door. So oh, it's not for you, it's for a charity of your choice, isn't it? Eh? Okay, troops, sorry. Oh, Yeah, girls, look, yeah, look, don't be shy. Here, have a flower. That's it. Get stuck in. Here. Here you go. All right. Lovely. It was at school. I couldn't have been more than nil. No, twelve. But it struck a chord even then. You know the Robbie Burns poem about the mouse who loses his home? We slick at car and timorous beastie. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. But I think it's Scots, not Pakistani. <laughs> anyway. I know that mouse must have felt. It's a real choker suddenly having your life turned upside down. The best laid schemes of mice and men. Gang after glee and leave us naught but grief and pain. Well, you're a refugee and I'm a nomad. And I do believe it's time to wander. Emma. Yes? Can I see you again? Not a good idea. Why not? I'm only passing through. Tomorrow's my last night here. Then spend it with me. Same beach, same time, same place. Don't be late. Too grand. Leave it now. You're on a losing streak, man. Tell me about it. Forget the gambling. What about the chicks? Yeah, I think you're right. I think that Jackie might be on for a pull. Oh. Wait, can't wait. You wait. Your time's split. Mm. <clears throat> sir, it's been a pleasure to have your company tonight, sir. Sure. If you're looking for a more select car school, there's a Salon Privé game tomorrow night. Tom. Any chance for coffee at your place? Don't think my boyfriend would like that. When you're losing, you're losing. you do your timekeeping down in London, but by my watch is late. I'm sorry, I haven't seen him. Hold up, what's this then? You're late. What happened to you last night? Well, you know how it is. A town full of chicks, good-looking bloke like me. I got lucky. Yeah, well, I'm glad somebody got lucky last night. How do you mean? Father of Phelan dropped that kid's collection money in a taxi. Some bastards had it away with nearly three grand. this, I worked on the Dodgers, and back in the 50s, I had the best job of the lot. Oh, yeah, what was that? I worked in the funhouse. I worked the machine what blew the hot air up the gale dresses. 
<laughs> nice work if you can get it. Yeah, but the mini skate come along and I was out of a job. Thank you, Bill. Okay, lads. <laughs> right, let it go. The bloke is meant to have scored last night. You don't seem very happy. I was just thinking about what you said. Oh, yeah? You're right. Not bad news. No use to anybody. Look, Eddie. What's done's done. This is our life for the moment, so let's get on with it, eh? Yeah, I know. But I've already screwed this up and all. Watch! I was up as Catholics. I never really got on with it myself, but if I've done wrong, I've always held my hands up. And that's why I came. It would have been a terrible thing to have had on your conscience. Yeah, I know. I can't tell you how bad I feel. Get the rest of the money back somehow. I promise. This is all. There was two thousand seven hundred pounds last night. Yeah. Well, um, I did it in uh, gambling mainly. The people of this town gave that money with the goodness of their hearts. Yeah, I know. And you'll get it back as well, every penny. Got my word on it. Without this operation, he's as good as finished, my son. We'll make that young lad's money. If I could find a way to flog it, how much do I get for my old BM in London? Isn't that old rust bucket? You have to pay someone to take it away. Mm. You were in a casino last night, weren't you? What? What of it? You blew over two grand, you sod, didn't you? Now, where would a tow rag like you get that sort of money? All right, all right. I've already seen the priest. I'm going to sort it out. That money was to save a kid his life. You're the scum of the earth. Look, I found it. I didn't know whose it was. But you'll get it back every penny. Make it soon. Or you'll find there's some very angry people in this town. Well, from the solicitors, do you want to talk to him? No, I bloody don't. He's not here at the moment. I'll tell him to ring you. No, hang on. Give him here. I tell a lie. He's just popped back in. Jack. For the first time in days, I slept last night. Not long. A couple of hours, maybe. I even woke up thinking the worst was over. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks a lot. Christ's sakes, even if I wanted to help you, I couldn't. 
I just don't happen to have two and a half grand lying about. Look, I only need a couple of hundred, Mike. Look, you see, the way I reckon it is, I can win this money back the same way I lost it. Now, they've got this private card game tonight. Now, they've obviously invited me along, because I was doing a lot of doshing. Sober, with a couple of hundred quid, I could cream these balm cakes. Eddie, you couldn't win a game of Snap. All right. Well, you could certainly take them. You're a natural with the cards. I don't play anymore. Danny wants to see you in his office. What for? He'll explain. So that's the deal. You sign this, which relinquishes any share you might have in the company. I will lend you a cheque to pay off the money you owe to father of failing myself, OK? Yeah. yeah OK, fair enough. Can I read that? Not now, Sam. Anyone got a pen? We're not signing this. It's a lousy deal. Under the circumstances, you should think yourselves lucky I'm offering you any sort of deal at all. Your dad left us a percentage of this company. This offer doesn't even begin to reflect that. When it gets around what he's done, there'll be a bloody lynch mob. I want you two out! Come on, Mike, it's the only way. I am not signing it. You sign, or you get that money back by tomorrow morning every penny. Danny, and I'm not running anymore. I'm going to stay here. Terrific. Well, how else am I going to get the bloody money back? Where's the invite to that card game? Good evening, sir. Nice to see you again. Good evening. You're here for the Salon Privé, I presume? Yeah, yeah, I am. Only, uh, I'm feeling a little bit off colour, you know, myself. Uh, is it all right for my associate sits in for me? Well, it was a personal invitation. Does he have sufficient... Evening. My name's Mike Baker. And yes, I do. Oh. oh very well, then. Uh, they're about to sit down, if you'd follow me. Oh, uh, it's the dealer and players only, I'm afraid, sir. Oh, oh, right. Uh, Mike. Yeah? Yeah, I seem to have, um, you know, just for a drink. What? Nothing. Nothing. You go to it, Mike, my man. Right? As it's your first visit, sir, perhaps I'd better introduce you. We've already met. Oh, right. Well, I'll leave you to it. What's all listening? I just fancied a game of cards. <laughs> if you're hoping to win enough to get your brother out of trouble, forget it. You're playing with the big boys here, son. Gentlemen, please be seated. The game tonight is Omar. See you for ten. Three sixes winner. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, sorry for you, Northerners. You're a friendly bunch. Very generous. I don't like to see a young man down on his luck. 
So what do you do with yourself then, ain't it? I'm over 21, I'm a widow, and I do what I like. <laughs> Call and up 50. to stay and up 200 just paid to see you. Nice hand. But it doesn't beat four of a kind. I lost. Yeah, I've got some bubble. Here you go. What's all this then? I lent this young man twenty pounds and he's won nearly three thousand on the roulette. Oh, 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 that wheel. Oh, this is my mascot, the lovely image of wicked girl. You. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, don't say it. Don't even think it. Here's father of fame's money and more. I've only kicked enough back for a little drink. So come on, Danny, and there's loads of it. See, I'm sure I just know. How'd you get on, Mike, anyway? Mike? Mike? Couldn't let it go like that. Look, I know it's been tough this last week, but we'll come through, eh? Just, just remember, whatever's happened, I'm still your big brother. All right, and I'm always going to be here if you need me. Here, Mike. 23, 22. Bye, big brother. I don't need you just now. Spin the wheel of misfortune. 